My name is Humberto Lugo. I'm with Comité Civico del Valle, we're an environmental justice organization. Um, and I work on a lot of the issues, you know, leading the air monitoring project that we have right now, 40 year um, air monitor project that we have in Imperial County. I work on policy as well. And a lot of issues associated with freight and just the impacts of air quality in our community and health. Seeing a lot of the, a lot of inequities, you know, in, in our community. I live in Brawley, which is uh, in Imperial County. It's, we're surrounded by a lot of agriculture, a lot of farming. The farming industry is a, the biggest industry here. I remember living there, moving there, and right across the street, there used to be a, a pesticide plant, a DDT pesticide plant, a Unical. I remember, you know, once we moved there, waking up in the mornings to go to school and walking and just the mist of ammonia, you know, like just the drift, um, the smell of ammonia in the mornings. And in the evenings, you know, you could, that drift was just there and just irritating your eyes all the time. You know, at the time I didn't know what it meant, how it tied to public health or any of this land use only. I didn't know any of that stuff, you know, at the time I was, um, you know, growing up, going to school in eighth grade. so. So right now, uh, behind me, you can see this is a, a port of entry at the Calexico, at the California-U.S.-Mexico border with Mexicali. This port of entry is only open between the hours, I believe, of 9 to 5. So whatever they have to do, these guys are rushing from Los Angeles, from Long Beach. They got to be here and load up and make sure they cross back before that deadline. So it's, it's a flow of trucks all day uh, between those hours, nonstop. So you see all these trucks idling. Um, I, the the line goes back probably about a mile, and that's where we see that these trucks they impact our communities. They park in these near um, low income housing, near a, a gas station, and then right behind it will be a, a, a apartments. And they leave their trucks idling, kids are playing outside, you know, and and breathing the particulate matter, you know, from the diesel pollution. All these multiple sources of, of pollution in, in our community, you know, just the impacts um, on a daily basis, cancer. There's a lot of cancer in our community, a lot of respiratory issues, asthma. 67% rate of, uh, of uh, the visits to the ER are due to, to asthma. And 63% of those um, that stay at the, at the hospital that have to be admitted are due to asthma. Living close to, the, to this port, port of entry here, a lot, and close to Mexico, um, a lot of the kids, you know, they develop asthma, you know, breathing the, the particulate um, from uh, diesel and the emissions, because we also have the, the car, the cars that have to wait about two, two hours, three hours to cross the border. Overall, I see, um, you know, California is a leader in renewable energy and getting to a cleaner, you know, and setting some goals, some climate climate goals, you know, for 2025 and 2050. One thing is that we'd like to see uh, zero emission trucks that's not emitting any kind of, uh, you know, a diesel pollutant or anything of that sort in our communities, because I think we're tired of breathing dirty air. I think we're tired of, you know, it's impacting our climate, it's impacting our livelihood, our health. I mean, um, we're, the technology is there, you know, the technology is already available.